Today, we are going to talk about the many benefits of having a butterfly garden. Good morning, this is Deb from Just Do Something Homestead. And today, we are going to talk about why you might want to encourage butterflies in your garden. Ever since I was a child in 4-H, I have raised butterflies, and people think that's kind of an odd thing to do, but for me, my parents encouraged me to learn all I could about butterflies. The biggest advantage to raising butterflies near your garden is that they will pollinate your vegetables. I find no greater pleasure than looking outside and seeing butterflies all over our yard. But how do I encourage them to come live at my homestead? I plant two types of seeds. I plant the flowers and plants that the caterpillars need to eat. And I plant the flowers that the butterflies need to drink from. Let's start by talking about the types of butterflies that you were attracting. I specifically raised two kinds. I raised the black swallowtails and the monarchs. These are the plants that I find my black swallowtails on the most. Dill, carrot greens, and parsley. And because of that, I plant a significant amount of these just for my caterpillars. Monarchs, on the other hand, only eat milkweed. There are many varieties of milkweed out there. This one is the easiest that I have found to grow, and that is also called the butterfly weed. It will send off these little orange flowers, sometimes you can find them in yellow, and it will attract the monarchs to your yard. At my last house, I had a butterfly garden that was a monarch way station, and that simply meant that I met all the guidelines required to provide food for the monarchs. I started by going to Amazon and ordering a variety of milkweed. These are the taller plants that grow three to four feet tall, and I put those around the perimeter of my butterfly garden. Butterflies are a lot like teenagers. If you feed them, they will come. Once I supplied the food that the caterpillars needed, I would go out and I would find caterpillars on these plants. You have to have a really good eye to find some of them. Look at these pictures and see if you can find the butterfly eggs and baby caterpillars. I discovered that the easiest way to make sure that there were butterflies was to guarantee that they would survive. And at first, I would bring them in the house. 90% of the caterpillars that you see outside are not going to make it. So I would bring them in, make sure I had plenty of food for them. I would take a lid that was a canning jar and hammer some holes in it 
and put it on top. Now you definitely need to have a lid on there because caterpillars can and will crawl out of most containers. When I got to the point where I was raising hundreds, if not thousands of caterpillars, I had to switch to using butterfly tanks. When the caterpillars would turn into a chrysalis, it was just a short time later that they would emerge as a butterfly. At that point, I would simply put my finger in, they would crawl on my finger, and I would release them. Now their wings need to be completely dried. If they are not, they will have very little chance of survival. This is where I needed to have a yard full of flowers for the butterflies to drink from. One of the main ones I raised was zinnias. All colors, all sizes, butterflies love zinnias. But anything that has a lot of color is going to attract butterflies to your yard. So how do you get started? You plant seeds. And that is what I will be doing over the next few weeks. I will be starting my dill. I've already started my parsley. Carrots I will put directly outside. Milkweed is one of those plants that once you have it started, it will continue to spread. So this is a one-time deal. I will get my milkweed planted. And as far as the rest of the seeds, zinnias, I always direct seed. Uh, same with sunflowers, they seem to do better that way. But I have just started my marigolds in the house. A little trivia for you. Caterpillars only eat, they don't drink. And butterflies only drink, they don't eat. When the community found out that I was raising butterflies, I would take my big tanks to the library, to the schools, and I would show children the importance of taking care of our butterflies. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please post your pictures of your butterflies. Thank you for all of your support and please like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day. Bye-bye.